Hello, I am William Mertel, the instructor for this course. I have been a computer-aided design and drafting instructor for six years. MicroStation Connect, made by Bentley Systems, is a versatile computer-aided design software that has quickly become an important tool for conceptual designing, visualization, and layout for such things as buildings, products, and road infrastructure. I currently teach a number of CAD software, and MicroStation Connect has become one of my favorites, and I think that after some time of being acquainted with MicroStation Connect, you will like it too. Using MicroStation Connect, a user can design, develop, and document their design process of their products in a graphical form represented by using lines, curves, shapes, annotations, dimensions, and symbols. MicroStation Connect is precise and enables companies to transcend language barriers with visual imagery allowing design teams to communicate necessary manufacturing information of their products so that drawings can be interpreted globally. Although MicroStation can offer its users the power of two-dimensional drawing production or three-dimensional model designing, this course has been specifically composed and arranged primarily primarily for the amateur to learn the essential and fundamental level of two-dimensional computer-aided design drawing production. This course can also be considered a precursor to future learning of three-dimensional MicroStation Connect. This course will provide an overall understanding of the fundamental tools needed to complete two-dimensional drawing projects in the design model, to reference drawings to a sheet model, and place and edit tables, place dimensions, annotations, and symbols. The student will also be able to create and use cells, parametric cells, isometric drawings, and to print with a variety of printing options. In Module 1, we'll have an overall introduction to the MicroStation Connect. We'll go over the workspace, work sets, and files, become familiar with the user interface with its ribbons, tabs, and panels, and we'll adjust the settings and preferences which should be established prior to beginning any drawing. In Module 2, you will learn about creating geometry, placing and editing the geometry such as the smart line, the arcs, the circle, the ellipse, and the shape tools. We'll get to know how to properly use the snaps and adjusting the snap settings, and understand how to select the snap modes. You will learn how to apply the AccuDraw tools and the key in window for learning how to use the absolute rectangular and polar coordinate systems. In Module 3, you will learn how to manipulate the elements to create parallel offsets with a geometry using Move Parallel tool. We will be using different methods for selecting elements with the Element Selection tool, and we'll learn how to move and copy elements, rotating and mirroring elements, and patterning elements. In Module 4, you will learn how to modify elements using the Trim Multiple command, create radial geometry with the Fillet tool, construct fillets and chamfers, combine multiple elements into a single element using the Create Complex Chain tool, and then editing the complex chain using the Drop Element tool. In Module 5, you will learn about design organization and levels. You will be learning to use the measuring tools such as the distance and the measuring area. We will be manipulating the attributes such as the line styles, the weights, and the colors. We will be formatting and manipulating levels and will be understanding how to use the levels manager by creating levels using the color panel and the by level options. In Module 6, you will be learning about the multi-line styles, formatting, creating, and editing multi-line styles. In Module 7, you will be learning how to work with sheets and references, creating and editing models, creating and manipulating references, and adjusting reference settings. You will create saved fenced views, place and modify internal and external references, and then we'll learn how to adjust the nesting settings. When you've completed this module, you will have learned how to create a multi-scaled, multi-referenced drawing. In Module 8, you will learn how to format that we'll be placing, manipulating, and editing text and editing symbols. In Module 9, you will learn how to format the dimension settings, place, manipulate, and edit dimensions and notes. You will also learn how to retrieve and use toolbox. In Module 10, you will learn about hatching, patterns, and fill. We will be placing and modifying patterns and hatching and show you how to add fill to shapes. In Module 11, you will learn how to create and use a cell library. You will add to this library cells that you've learned how to create. We'll use these cells with tags, adding tag sets to attach tags, create a tag report template, and then generate tag reports. In Module 12, you will learn about the significance and power of parametric modeling by adding geometric and dimensional constraints to design elements. We'll explore how to use and create dimensional variables and then placing and creating parametric cells. In Module 13, you will learn how to format tables, place them in the sheet and design models, and then we will also learn to edit the tables. In Module 14, we'll change things up a bit and learn how to use the correct tools needed to create isometric design Lines. We'll be creating and editing isometric lines and circles. Afterwards, we will apply dimensioning and annotation. And finally, in Module 15, you will learn how to adjust and save the print settings. We will print from the design and the sheet environment. You will also learn how to create and store seed files so that you can begin new design files with preset, attributes, settings, and customizations. 